Uh, we got to talk about it. We have to talk about it. Tank Davis, Bud Crawford. This is a super realistic fight. I don't know why people are acting like it's not. Let's keep it all the way a buck. First of all, Tank ran his mouth, and you can't be making them type of claims if you ain't willing to stand on it. Don't just be talking and be talking. You know what I mean? You know you're going to raise some antennas, and we're going to be paying attention. Bottom line. I mean, people People always want to see the best fight the best. Uh, but let's talk about it. What up, YouTube? Big T.O. Heavy Bag Boxing TV. Man, get your goof ass in here. Hit the bag. Hit that like button for your boy. You know, that helps the channel, man. I appreciate that love. Shout out my gang, the bag hitters. Y'all know the count, man. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Um, and Tank Davis ran his mouth. You know what I mean? He said he felt like he could not bud out in six rounds. That going to make shock waves through the boxing world. You know, that sound bite has come full circle. Um, but I'm hearing a lot of people f- saying, man, Tank will never do that. Tank, did-. Listen, you've had greats do it before. If Tank feels like he's a great, if Tank wants to pursue greatness, this is what they do. Even a Bud Crawford who was at 135 has made his way to 147. Tank fought at 140 before. It's not. And I like to, I like to bring Manny Pacquiao up. It's because of the height situation. Now, I know uh, all of the accusations and, and everything that surrounds uh, Manny Pacquiao's success in the, in, the, in the heavier weight classes, but I like to compare him to Tank because of the statue. They're both extremely short, five, 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 six on a good day. Um, it never prevented Manny Pacquiao from continuing to push forward, all right? And I think Tank does have that natural equalizer whereas you know his accusations about the the power of a, a, a Manny Pacquiao in the, in the higher weight classes I don't believe that's the same case for Tank Davis you know I just believe it's natural power um you look at a Floyd at 130 you know what I mean you look at, it's so many fighters you know so it's not far-fetched to say that Tank could go from 130 to 147 it's not far-fetched to say that Tank can make a fight with Bud Crawford at 147. Now, would he be willing to do it right now? No, you know what I mean? But Tank's pushing 30. You know what I mean? I think he turns 29 this year, maybe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and, and, you know, that's when you start, to, you know, the the back half of your career for, the, for most fighters. Uh, when you put, start to put on the most weight and you really fill out, and Tank's been filled out. And if you guys can remember the, the Ryan Garcia Garcia buildup, um, and I believe he had already started training camp, and he stepped on the scale, he was still like in the one fifties, right? So he still has significant weight to drop to make one thirty five. Scott easily walks around at one fifties, one sixty maybe. So one forty seven is most definitely um, something that's doable for Tank Davis. For those of you who saying no. He stays at 130 because it makes more sense for his his height. It's you know not giving up so much height and reach and up in, in, in uh, bigger weight classes. And of course that power is crazy at 135, right? But to say the fight can't be made with Bud Crawford, that's ridiculous. And this is what Bud Crawford had to say um, when, when when asked about um, those Tank Davis comments. How do you how do you not lead with ego? Like if you hear somebody like Tank say. 147, I knock butt out. Well, he's just, he just talking. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he got the confidence in himself that he believed that he can do that because he's been knocking all these fighters out mm-hmm. that he's been in the ring with. You know, so um, no knock to, to Tank, but there's definitely levels. Mm-hmm. You know, and if he come up to 147, and he's thinking he's just going to knock Terrence Crawford out. Got another thing coming. So that's the fight you would make happen? If he, if he wanted to come up to 147? Yeah, I'll stay at 147 for him. That's a big money that's fight. That's a big fight, yeah. It's yeah. a big money fight, you know. Uh, yeah. So Spence... But then what? Everybody going to say he was too small? Nobody going to give me credit? Yeah. They're going to say, oh, man, you beat up a little guy that's fight at 135. You know, yeah, Tank. Tank like five five, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, he's a little guy, you know. Uh, yeah, he can punch, mm-hmm. but in his weight class, not saying that he can't punch in any weight class because he 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 punch punch, mm-hmm. and we see that, you know. But what type of 
recognition I'm gonna get for, you know, beating up on Tank. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know. 135 and 147 is a big jump. Mm -hmm. You know, that's almost 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. Well, 20, 22. 12. 12, 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 12, 12, yeah. 12 pounds. You know, so that's a big jump. So for you, it's all about legacy and money at this point. 100%. I, I agree that's a big jump for sure. Uh but I think I think he's wrong. I think a lot of people will give him good credit for beating a tank Dev Davis. Uh I think a lot of people are coming around and seeing that uh Tank does have a lot of IQ to go along with that power. And I, I always say that's what it makes Tank Davis, especially at thirty five, extremely dangerous. Because the underrated IQ to go along with that power. Because if you see some of those knockouts from Tank Davis, a lot of those shots come from thinking. He's not in there like a pit bull cruise just swinging. He's really taking his time and setting your ass up uh, for some of these spectac spectacular knockouts. So I think Bud is, is sort of wrong as far as people not giving him credit if he was to beat Tank Davis. I, for one, would give him a lot of credit, a ton of credit, for being another undefeated fighter whom I believe IQ is up there and has the power to go with it, which makes for an extremely deadly combination, especially, you know, uh, just like for Bud Crawford. Um, man, of course, you're going to have to detract this to say, man, he was, you just beat up on a little guy. But for me... Very realistic fight. And then when you look at the landscape, you're not sure what Tank Davis wants to do. Maybe he takes a tune-up because he just got out. Um, but a tune-up to fight who is is the question. You know, maybe he wants to go after the belts at 135 and see Devin. Uh, but Tank's already told us on several occasions it's, it's about the money for him. And I think a fight with Bud Crawford is a huge it's a huge deal. This is a big, big fight to make. And like I said about Bud Crawford, as far as we know right now, he's just going to be sitting on the shelf, right? Bud literally is going to be sitting on the shelf if he's going to be sitting around waiting for Jamel Charlo or a Canelo Alvarez, right? Because in PBC's uh, Canelo fight deal, I'm not sure Terrence Crawford is on the table. Maybe they could make that work. Uh, but I'm not sure Terrence Crawford's on, on the table. Um, and, you know, more than likely he's going to do this Spence rematch. I, sh I hope that fight don't happen, man. But I know it is. Spence want to at least get one more payday probably before he, he get up out of here. Uh, but, man, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I just think the Bud Tank fight is huge, bro. I think there's a big, big Big, big fight. Uh, I think it will say a lot about Tank Davis. Uh, you you have to give him all the credit in the world for taking that fight. And I think you you couldn't snub uh, Bud Crawford or take any kind of credit for him if he was able to beat Tank Davis. You know what I'm saying? Uh, outside of a Jamel Charlo, I don't want to see the Spence fight. So outside of a Jamel Charlo or maybe a Tim Zoo. Uh, uh, who else would you really want to see Bud Crawford fight? And I really don't think he's going to fight Keith Thurman himself. So, you know, I think Keith Thurman and I don't know, but you guys let me know what you think in the comment section, man. I'm, I'm stumped on that one. I really think Tank Davis and Bud Crawford is a really good fight. Maybe I'm alone in this shit. But you guys let me know. All right, that's all I got for y'all on this one, man. Big Teal Heavy Bag. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.